Hey guys, welcome back to The VoIP guys. Uh, last time around we talked about, well we introduced the topic of IVRs and this time around we are actually going to use the graphic from our blog. So mm -hmm. just quickly. Hopefully you read our blog. Yeah, article. hopefully you read it from between yeah. this, uh, this week and last week. But we're going to use this graphic, um, the prompts and so on and everything in there. Um, and we are going to configure an IVR menu. Yes. Yeah. So let's see what we did first. Mm -hmm. um, this is an IVR, it's too long, we talked about, but... Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this was just a, a, an example joke that I wrote mm -hmm. for the, uh, the Americans. I'm not sure they got it though, but never mind. Okay, <laughs> okay. So we recorded the first two questions. The que question one is fruit or veg. Mm -hmm. The question two is bananas or apples. Yeah. So we tried to um, build them. Um, we recorded them in Order City, we explained how mm -hmm. already in the last tutorial and we have um, that one. Hello, welcome to Joe Blog's Fruit and Veg. Press one for fruit and two for veg. So this is the first <laughs> question and this is the second. Choose your sugar. One for bananas, two for apples. Hopefully you could hear it and we um, copied it over to our asterisk system and it's called IVR, IVR underscore Q1, Q1 for question one and Q2 for yeah. question two. So let's go ahead. What we need is a new extension is every time <laughs> uh, for our IVR menu. Let's say 800, one, go to. And then it's very important to jump into our own context. Every IVR menu should have our own context. Okay. And even every sub um, IVR should have another own context. Right. Okay. I will explain why later. But now um, we just jump to a new context, which is IVR1 start1. We explained all that concept already. No? <laughs> yes. IVR1. Extension S.1. And first thing we, we say no op, so we can see on the asterisk CLR that we already there. We did that a thousand times uh -huh. before. IVR one, same. Next is we have to answer the channel that you can hear something. Next we should play back. Playback is for... Uh, Pl yeah, right. Right, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Playback IVR underscore question one. So, for now, there is no magic. Just answer the channel, playback the file. It says one for fruits, two for veg. Okay. So, what now? Now, we have to wait until somebody presses an extension. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that way. And there is a special application which is called wait extend. It just waits for an extension, let's say for five seconds. So you have time, five seconds to press any key. Uh huh. Yep. And it also accepts any key. So we have to handle keys which are not existing. Mm -hmm. So three or four or I don't yeah, know. Okay, so but that's in another tutorial we will um, advance our setup. So for yeah. the first try it's okay. We play and then we wait what happens. So now you can see why a single um, um, context. context, thank you, is very important for each IVR menu because now you say X10 what happens if somebody dials one? Mm -hmm. Then we say no op pressed one. And next for sure, no, same. We just maybe make another go to or put the caller into a queue, mm -hmm. the banana queue, mm -hmm. or I don't know. Yeah. Test. It's not important for now. Yeah. And then if he presses two,
pressed to. Same in Q blah. Like this. Or you could just make a go-to to another IVR menu. Mm -hmm. The next mm -hmm. question. Yeah. So um, for now, this is okay for us. We will um, make a better example later on and yep. enhance uh, the example. So now what do we do expect? We do expect if we call 800, we should hear press 1 or press 2. And then you should be able to press 1 or 2. And then it just should go to QTest, which is not existing, or go to QBlah, which is not existing. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but just to understand the basic concept. Now go to the asterisk CLI, reload the dial plan, and just call 800. Hello, welcome to JoeBlog's fruit and veg. Press 1 for fruit and 2 for veg. So now I press 1. And then he says pressed one, mm -hmm. Q test, and then he says unable uh, uh, to train Q test because it's not Doesn't, existing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, welcome to Joe Blog's fruit and veg. Press one for fruit and two for veg. So I press two. You can see it there that, I, that you press two. Yeah. And the same error message because the Q is not there. The Q is not there. Mm -hmm. But for now it's okay and you can learn the basic concept. Yeah. And if I go back to the dial plan, It is very important to have a separate context because if it would be in the normal context, maybe you would dial as extension 100 or 200 or 5 uh -huh. or 8 or yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So you could just jump around in the dial plan. So uh. it's very important to have a separate context from yeah. that. And then when, for example, if uh, pressing 1, um, taking you to the fruit department, mm -hmm. would you then have a separate context for that as well? Yes. Yeah, okay. Because mm -hmm. then Otherwise, you could not have the same extension twice because yeah. the same extension can only live in one context. That's true. So you could never um, dial one again. Uh -huh. So you need a separate context. For okay. Yep. So maybe um, if you don't really understand it, um, then uh, you should revisit our um, tutorials about context and yep. stuff, how that works mm -hmm. and namespaces. And, uh, that's it for now. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the problems of this approach. Okay, the two, <laughs> the, the two queues are not existing. Yeah, That's fair maybe a problem. <laughs> um, but there are some issues. The one is I press a number which is not one or two. Yeah. Three, four, five, mm -hmm. or I just wait too long. I wait five seconds and what's then? Yeah. Um, so we should enhance the setup, but that's something we do next yeah. time. So next time around, um, there you have it. We're going to have sort of uh, IVR menus the advanced way. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Until next time. Goodbye. Bye.